you excited about Anjari's celebration tonight? I am. I can't believe it's been two years. Where is everybody? It is tonight, right? We got all dressed up. What's going on? It's actually virtual and you're live. Did you prepare anything? No, you? Um, hi everyone. I'm Angela Rosenberg, co-founder and president of Anjari Foundation. And I'm Carrie Rosenberg, co-founder and head of productions. Thanks for joining us tonight. We're happy you're all apparently virtually here. You're probably wondering what we've been up to since we saw you last. Well, to start, we've done a bunch of different research expeditions. We surveyed coral reefs in the Bahamas. That's cool. I did my 2020 census. Not that kind of survey. We traveled to Bimini in the Bahamas to study the great hammerhead shark Nemesis. Oh, I love Phil Collins. All that time I was searching. Nemesis, not Genesis. Oh. And we can't forget about the submersible. Right, that's when Anjari discovered the lost city of Atlantis. No, Carrie, no. Live from West Palm Beach, it's Anjari Foundation's annual celebration. We've got a great event planned for you tonight. And Genesis will not be performing, but stick around. Anjari's annual celebration 2021. We missed all of you last year and are excited to share with you our recent adventures. But before we begin, a little bit of housekeeping. Many of you received an Anjari event gift. We hope you've opened it by now. You'll find the contents to be quite useful throughout the program. For anyone who needs the restroom, we hope you have a bathroom in your home. You'll be pleased to know drinks are available all night. Please place your order with your significant other and they'll be happy to make you one. I'm sure tips are appreciated. If your internet goes out, please call your local provider. There's nothing we can do for you. Thank you to all of tonight's sponsors. Our silver sponsor, Sentient Jet. Our bronze sponsor, Wells Fargo Advisors. Worth Avenue Yachts. Gunster Law Firm. Brayman Motor Cars. And IJL Real Estate Group. We've all come together to celebrate our oceans, and this event would not be possible without you. We also want to thank everyone who has supported us to date and helped us get to where we are today. Your donations tonight and always are appreciated. And you can donate online anytime by going to the URL on your screen. We also have an ongoing silent auction tonight with some great items which you can access by the link shown on your screen. We hope you're all very generous and eager to place your bids. 
The auction will end at midnight tonight. Joining us for a toast, we have the entire Anjari team. Everyone, grab a glass. We were disappointed to not be together last year, and unfortunately this year we're still all stuck at home. So tonight, travel with us to Florida, the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean as we share our stories from the last two years. Let's raise a glass to a year filled with happiness, health, and success. We'll be together until 7, so let's get this celebration started. Come, Come aboard. aboard. Anjari is recognized as a designated oceanographic research vessel by the U.S. Coast Guard? 100%. So, where should we go first? First, we're headed to the Bahamas. This island chain is a gem of white sandy beaches and clear blue-green waters. With less than 50 nautical miles between us, only the Gulf Stream and a quick boat trip or flight separates Florida from the Bahamas. But one of the best parts of the Bahamas is what lies underwater extensive coral reefs, and diverse marine life. The island nation has been a proponent of shark conservation for decades. In 1992, the Bahamas banned longlining, and in 2011, the country became a shark sanctuary with shark protections throughout all its territorial waters. With over 650,000 square kilometers of protected ocean for sharks, it is no surprise that we see sharks on every visit to the Bahamas. And this makes this location prime for shark research. Last year, Anjari Foundation teamed up with University of Massachusetts Amherst Digital Life 3D scientists, virtual underwater camera innovators, and a select team of shark handlers and divers to give people a new way to look at sharks. Digital Life 3D and its director Duncan Urshik pioneered a method to create high resolution, morphologically accurate 3D models of animals. 
For this expedition, we headed to Bimini, where great hammerhead sharks are known to congregate every winter. A one-week expedition in Bimini resulted in hours of underwater footage of great hammerhead sharks. Working with professional animators, the team used the footage and photos collected from the expedition to build an accurate 3D animated model of a great hammerhead shark. This is Nemesis. Nemesis can be used for both scientific and educational purposes. Whether you're taking a closer look on your computer or in a VR headset or printing 3D models for your classroom, this is the closest look many will ever get of a great hammerhead shark. Bimini is one small set of islands on the western edge of the Bahamas, but in fact, the Bahamas archipelago extends over 500 miles and is made up of thousands of islands, keys, rocks, and undersea walls, all in warm tropical waters. There are many areas in the Bahamas with extensive and virtually untouched coral reefs. Nevertheless, ecotourism, commercial fishing, development, pollution, and climate change can stress reef habitats. Institute for Marine Science has been conducting marine research in the Bahamas beginning in the 1970s. Their scientists have worked aboard RV Andrari since 2017 with regular trips to survey coral reefs throughout the Bahamas. Each expedition covers hundreds of miles over a couple week period and culminates with thousands of data points on benthic community, coral species, and fish. During the summer of 2019, Perry Institute scientists spent two weeks in the northern Bahamas surveying reefs around Grand Bahama Island and the Africa Coast. Sadly, only a few months later, a devastating Category 5 hurricane would hit this region. Hurricane Dorian was the most intense hurricane on record to strike the Bahamas, and is now viewed as the worst natural disaster in the country's history. On September 1st, 2019, this extremely powerful Atlantic hurricane made landfall in Abaco and severely damaged Marsh Harbor and many of the surrounding island towns. With wind gusts up to 220 miles per hour and a 20-foot storm surge in some areas, the effects on land were massive and destructive. The enormous storm then moved west and stalled over Grand Bahama, where the storm continued to cause devastation, including damaging several large industrial storage tanks and spilling 5 million gallons of fuel. Following Hurricane Dorian, aid workers and volunteers from surrounding countries quickly brought in supplies and offered recovery assistance as the Bahamas began to rebuild. But what happened offshore? How did marine life fare against such a large, forceful storm? Perry Institute headed back out on RV and Jari to resurvey the area they had examined just a few months prior. From a scientific perspective, we had an unexpected opportunity to look at coral reefs immediately prior to and after a major hurricane. In some areas, the findings were as to be expected, coral bleaching, broken reefs, debris from land washed offshore, while other reefs look surprisingly untouched or minimally damaged. Much of the Bahamas archipelago sits on a submerged carbonate platform we refer to as the Bahama Banks. Anyone who has visited by boat is familiar with the shallow waters of the Bahamas. At the edge of these banks, steep slopes quickly drop to thousands of feet deep. This kind of formation was perfect for Ocean Gate to test their new deep diving man submersible. Head offshore and you will quickly find yourself in very deep, open Atlantic water. Ocean Gate brought its revolutionary 4,000 meter depth rated man submersible Titan to Great Abaco in the Bahamas to complete a series of dive trials and equipment tests in preparation for future dives on the Titanic. RV Anjari was to serve as a support topside vessel for the submersible. Titan is the only submersible in the world that can take five crew members to over 13,000 feet. OceanGate has also created a unique integrated launch and recovery platform for their submersible. This allows smaller vessels like RV Anjari to tow the submersible to a location with ease. With OceanGate's system, you no longer need a large ship with an A-frame to launch and recover a sub. RV Anjari towed the vessel to and from the offshore dive site and provided surface support during the dives. Operations and mission control took place from the indoor lab, and participants were able to observe all dive and recovery operations from the upper deck of RV Anjari. 
During the week, a successful dive with four crew on board Titan marked the first time in history a non-military submersible carried more than three people to 3,760 meters. That's 12,336 feet beneath the surface of the ocean. The Anjari team was proud to be part of this momentous milestone and to assist OceanGate in accomplishing their growing goals for deep sea exploration. The Bahamas is such an important and unique area for marine science research and conservation. As a nation that values its coral reefs, sharks, fisheries, and coastlines, it's no wonder its underwater environment is so special. Next time you find yourself in the Bahamas enjoying those white sand beaches and crystal clear blue waters, don't forget to take a look below the surface and appreciate all that the Bahamas has to offer. We're going to need a bigger boat. But Carrie, bigger boat means more crew, and not everyone is as great as Kevin. Yeah, I've heard he makes a mean chocolate mousse on expeditions. Just some chocolate today, kitties. Welcome to Florida. You don't have to go far to find marine life and important ecosystems. Headquartered on Florida's East Coast and West Palm Beach, RV Anjari has supported research locally as well as hundreds of miles away in the Florida Keys, Dry Tortugas, Florida Bay, and Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf Stream Current tracks closer to shore along Palm Beach County than anywhere else along North America. Continental Shelf is narrower off Palm Beach than anywhere else on the eastern seaboard. The Gulf Stream brings in an abundance of clear water and lots of marine life. Many migratory and oceanic species traveling the current, like sharks, turtles, manta rays, sailfish, and tuna, pass by near shore. Anjari Foundation provides opportunities for local youth to get hands-on marine science instruction and research experience. Working with shark scientists from Florida International University, we hosted scientists, graduate students, undergraduate students, and youth aboard our research vessel. During each expedition, researchers measured, tagged, and collected tissue samples from each shark caught before it was safely released. In total, scientists collected data from 12 sharks, which will be used to better understand the health and the behavior of these local apex predators. To further broaden our reach and share these types of hands-on research experiences aboard RV Anjari with everyone, we looked towards 360 film and virtual reality. In 2020, RV Anjari became the platform for a shark expedition 360 film. 
In collaboration with Florida Atlantic University scientists, the Anjari production team followed researchers as they caught, tagged, measured, and released great hammerhead sharks off RV Anjari's stern. The expedition also involved filming the more elusive black tip sharks, which visit the Palm Beach coast in the thousands every winter. If you've spent any time in Florida diving or snorkeling, you know that Florida is known for more than just its large toothy marine life. The Florida Reef Tract is the only living coral barrier reef in the continental United States and the third largest barrier reef in the world. Coral reefs stretch along Florida's coastline nearly 350 miles from north of Palm Beach down to the Dry Tortugas. Disease, pollution, ocean acidification, and warming temperatures all threaten Florida's reefs. Anjari Foundation supports reef research, conservation, and restoration efforts. Anjari partnered with Coral Restoration Foundation, an organization leading the charge in rebuilding Florida's coral reefs with year-round farming and outplanting of corals. Their expansive coral nurseries in the Florida Keys contain coral trees that can support large numbers of coral fragments. Once the coral fragments grow into colonies large enough to be outplanted on reefs, they are harvested. During Coral Restoration Foundation's annual Coral Palooza, RV and Jari served as a dive platform on site and the primary vessel for transporting corals between nursery and planting locations. More than 650 harvested corals were kept aerated and oxygenated on board RV and Jari overnight before being outplanted on select reefs the following day. Coral Restoration Foundation divers and volunteers continue to monitor the condition of the outplanted corals and work to rebuild diverse coral reefs in Florida. RV and Jari is a versatile vessel. One day we're housing corals, and the next day we're collecting water samples. In preparation for their expedition in the Southern Ocean, chemical oceanographers from Florida State University, University of South Florida, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology spent several days aboard RV and Jari. The scientists tested water sampling equipment, and participating graduate and undergraduate students were trained in the proper methods that would be used during their upcoming Antarctic research cruise. Training future generations of scientists is a crucial component to our work, and RV Anjari is critical to this mission. Every summer, Anjari Foundation spends a week in St. Petersburg, Florida, with Oceanography Camp for Girls. This University of South Florida program is led by Teresa Greeley, who started the three-week summer program 30 years ago with the mission to inspire and motivate young women entering high school to consider careers in science. RV Anjari has an important role in this program, conducting ocean field work aboard a research vessel. Students are instructed in a variety of field methods, including water sampling with Niskin bottles, taking environmental measurements, and collecting sediment samples from the seafloor. They also practice species identification using plankton toes and otter trawls. It's amazing how much there is to discover in your own backyard. And Jari is proud to support local research and provide a versatile platform for diverse scientists and students and their many research disciplines. RV and Jari has served so many different scientists in their research, and this was just over the last two years. With so many important initiatives, Anjari is making a real difference. That's a great point, Carrie. With 35 expeditions already under our belt, there's so much more ahead. I'd like to introduce you to some of the scientists who work aboard RV Anjari. As part of our celebration, we're giving away one free day on board our research vessel, and it's your decision who we give it to. I mean, everybody loves sharks, right? Yeah, and we are totally the coolest scientists. You know, all the cool kids study sharks. So. Oh, that's true. I'm Marianne Porter. I'm an assistant professor in biological sciences at Florida Atlantic University. Hi, I'm Stephen Kajura. I'm a professor of biological sciences at Florida Atlantic University. Corals are so important. They, they're the basis upon which the whole ecosystem is built down here, but... Uh, Everybody loves a good predator. Sharks at the top level. Do you even need a boat to study coral? They don't move. Just sits there, you know. Anyone can do that. So why are sharks so cool, Brian? Why do mom and dad study sharks, and why are we the coolest scientists? Well, sharks are cool because in some parts of the world they're apex. For the past decade now, my lab has been 
looking at the migration of these black-tip sharks that come down to South Florida every winter. We use a variety of techniques, whether it's aerial surveys in an airplane or out on the water, uh, instrumenting them with satellite tags. It gives us uh, an overall view of what's happening in the ecosystem. Not just the black tips, but we also see their predators. We see their prey. Uh, and it gives us this, uh, this synoptic view. I study biomechanics, so I use engineering and physics to think about how animals are put together and how they work. So I'm able to take advantage of the black tip shark aggregation that Dr. Kajura started studying over 10 years ago. I've been out fishing on the Anjari vessel before and it was a great experience because we had a bunch of students who were able to be right there on the deck. We brought a big hammerhead up, we able to instrument it with a tag and let it go. We have a whole bunch of satellite tags we need to get out there, so uh, the more days we get out on the water the better. A uh, day out on the boat is always really exciting because we can bring uh, a lot of drones and a lot of students. We could potentially get data for several grad students. Um, the undergrads work to help analyze the data. So while the day on the boat is really important, it's going to get us a ton of data that we can work to analyze for many, many months. Yeah, I think it's important for these students to actually have that firsthand experience out on the water rather than just being given the videos to analyze. It's much more engaging for them to see how the data were actually collected and uh, you know, having a big vessel like Anjari really gives us that opportunity to bring out a large number of students. And that is just really important for individual educations but also our collective understanding of scientific research and how to interpret scientific research and how to think critically and be a scientist. It's always more fun to have your own fish tail. <laughs> so everybody do a dorsal pin salute and vote for Team Shark. From cinematic masterpieces like Jaws and Baby Shark, to the grossly underrated Sharknado, to Katy Perry's left shark fiasco, these oversized toothy fish are the gifts that keep on giving. But how can we give back to sharks? At PIMS, we pulled hundreds of sharks around the Caribbean. Here's what they had to say. 92% of sharks say coral reefs are their homes. 96% of sharks say they rely on coral reefs for food. 100% of sharks say they're tired of being poked and prodded by shark researchers for no apparent reason. The message is clear. Coral reef research is very important. No coral reefs, no sharks. At PIMS, we research and restore coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, home to more life than any other habitat in the ocean. But we can't do this without you. We need a big boat like the Anjari, a boat that empowers us to monitor thousands of kilometers of coral reefs at a time, a boat that allows us to use scuba and harness novel technology, and of course, a boat to watch dazzling sunsets with our favorite captain, Angela Rosenberg. Our history speaks for itself. Since working with the Anjari Foundation, PIMS has surveyed over 11,500 square meters of seafloor, created 3D coral reef models showing Hurricane Dorian's impact from over 46,000 photos, and outplanted over 3,400 corals onto reefs in the Caribbean. Supporting us isn't just the smartest choice, it's what's best for our oceans as a whole. What do you call a shark without a reef, Craig? Starving. And I assure you, no one wants starving sharks hanging around the beaches this summer. A vote for coral reefs is a vote for sharks. Thank you. Thank you. Now that you've met the candidates, it's up to you to choose who you think we should support with a free day on board RV Anjari. Go to the URL on your screen to donate and vote. Every vote is $10 and you can submit as many times as you'd like. The candidate with the most votes wins the free day. It's that simple. Hello again, Amanda here, Director of Science Education and Advancement for the Foundation. And JARI goes beyond expeditions and works to educate students, teachers, and the public on ocean science and conservation issues. And JARI's educational initiatives have really taken off in recent years. And JARI education involves engaging programs both at sea and on shore. And JARI Foundation strongly believes that hands-on, in-person experiences are the best way to educate and inspire. This type of programming has been at the core of Anjari Education since our launch, and we have worked diligently over the last few years to establish engaging first-hand learning opportunities for youth, educators, and the community. Like the rest of the world, however, we did have to adapt our education offerings when a global pandemic sent students home and teachers to their computers for online instruction. Fortunately, Anjari's in-person programming was well underway prior to the pandemic, and we look forward to resuming these initiatives as soon as it is safe to do so. 
In the meantime, we're proud that we were able to quickly rise to the challenge of virtual programming and establish distance learning opportunities that continue our mission to bring scientists, students, teachers, and the public together. Through these efforts, we have been able to reach thousands of people from around the world. Anjari's first citizen science program was established in 2017 and continues today. The Lake Worth Lagoon Drift Card Study, also known as Lagoon Drift, is a citizen science initiative that uses a series of coordinated releases of small, eco-friendly wooden drift cards to study the motion of water and pollutants in waterways in and around Palm Beach County. This program requires the assistance of the local community to create, decorate, deploy, locate, and report found drift cards to get a better understanding of how marine debris is transported and accumulates in our area. We and our Palm Beach County partners also use the project as a tool to engage the community in the conversation about human impacts on the environment, including plastic pollution and other types of marine debris, and the effects that they have on marine life. In November 2019, the Lagoon Drift Program expanded to the Indian River Lagoon under the direction and coordination of the Florida Department of Environmental Protection's Indian River Lagoon Aquatic Preserves. Through this collaboration, we've extended Lagoon Drift's experimental range from Palm Beach County north to Brevard County. To date, we have completed five Lagoon Drift experiments in conjunction with our partners, which include area schools, businesses, nonprofits, and environmental education centers. While we have temporarily delayed experiments in response to COVID-19, we look forward to picking them up again later this fall. In our efforts to engage the community, we participate in a variety of public and educator-focused events that allow us to share our passion and expertise while showcasing our projects and programs. Fortunately, many of these conferences, professional development programs, and outreach events went virtual in 2020, allowing us to continue our local engagement and reach even more remote audiences than we would be able to otherwise. We recognize that it is impossible for us to welcome every student on board our Van Jari, especially those who don't live nearby. This led to the creation of our Generation Ocean 360 film series. Using virtual reality headset, tablet, smartphone, or computer, anyone can join scientists on a research expedition aboard RV Anjari, all from the comfort of their classroom or home. Generation Ocean coral reefs and Generation Ocean sharks provide unique views into the underwater world. These 360 films give you a glimpse into what it takes to scientifically study and protect important marine ecosystems and species. For educators who want to share the film with their students, we have also created complementary, standards-aligned activities to help build out interactive and engaging lessons that deepen student understanding. While these activities were initially designed for in-person learning, during COVID, our Generation Ocean series has served distance learners as well. Uniting scientists, students, teachers, and the public has always been at the forefront of Anjari education. When the need for distance learning and virtual communication arose in 2020, we moved our programming online. This began with virtual classroom visits and ultimately evolved into established offerings. Working with our science and media partners, Anjari Foundation hosted two live online panel discussions. The first on the environmental impacts of Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas, and the second on the annual black tip shark migration offshore of Palm Beach County. In response to COVID, we also established our Ocean Expert Exchange series in partnership with the University of Florida Thompson Earth Systems Institute Scientist in Every Florida School program. Our 30-minute webinars are accessible to audiences of all ages and feature experts in marine science and technology, many of whom have participated in expeditions on board RV Anjari. Each live event includes a presentation on the speaker's area of expertise, followed by audience Q&A. Ocean Expert Exchange has reached diverse audiences from more than 37 states and 51 countries to date. We will wrap the current school year with a completion of 12 Ocean Expert Exchange webinars, all of which have been recorded and are available for viewing on demand, along with additional curated educational resources via our website. In total, we've directly engaged over 4,000 people in the last two years through our education programming. While we certainly did not expect a global pandemic to change our course, we're proud of the new and effective programs we've established and look forward to resuming our in-person initiatives as soon as possible. That's incredible, Amanda. I'm so proud of how we were able to quickly pivot from in-person programming to distance learning in light of COVID. Our live online programs have been so well received and successful that we are continuing them into the future. Speaking of virtual learning, in January we released Generation Ocean Sharks, the second episode of our educational 360 film series. You can experience the remarkable migration of thousands of black tip sharks along the Florida coast and work alongside scientist Steven Kajura and the FAU Elasmo Lab team on expedition. Let's take a closer look.
make sharks so interesting is they're just plain cool. That's exciting to everyone from little kids to adults like me. For the past 10 years, I've been studying the migration of black tip sharks as they come down to South Florida. The next natural iteration of that is to look at the predators, the great hammerhead sharks. Sharks exert an influence throughout the entire ecosystem. This is why they're so important. Wow, that was really cool. You can watch the complete 360 film on the Anjari Foundation YouTube channel and website. What a great film and what a great couple of years. And we're not the only ones who feel that way. Hey, this is Casey coming to you from St. Petersburg, Florida. One of my favorite memories is going on the boat to Bimini last February and eating like a king. Angela and Kevin are great cooks and you cannot underestimate how great a trip is when the food's good. I participated in a research cruise aboard the RV Jari to Abaco in the Bahamas. Not only was the vessel a fantastic platform from which to do coral reef research and reef surveys, um, but it was also super comfortable and so much fun. Angela and Kevin took such good care of us. They gave us so many snacks all the time and uh, made us able to see so many amazing marine animals. I remember watching as we were running between different sites in the Abacos, watching dolphins uh, jumping in our wake um, as we went, and it was just the most beautiful and magical experience. Angela and Kevin and the rest of the Anjari team, who I've unfortunately not met in person, has been really good and really fun over the last few years. They make you feel as though you've been part of their family for a very long time. I've had the experience of being on maybe three trips around the Bahamas collecting coral reef data. Uh, my favorite trip would have been in 2019. We were surveying along the northern coast of the Little Bahama Bank. And for most of that trip, we had really good weather, like excellent weather for the summer. And we were able to get three, four dives in a day. But towards the latter half of the trip, when we got to the more sketchier parts for anchoring, the weather, the wind died down and the water was crystal clear. We could see starfish and corals from the surface. And because of that, we were allowed to anchor out on the very edge of the Little Bahama Bank, basically at the edge of civilization. The only thing you could see was the lights coming off Florida, some boats going down the intercoastal waterway, and then of course the stars in the sky. And that was one of those moments where you just get to sit down and be like, this is why I research. When the weather is great, the food is good, the snacks are great, the team is comfortable, are you able to just research all day, all night without worrying too much about anything? And being on Nanjari really helps us to take place. My name is Megan Hendrickson. I work at the Academy of the Holy Names in Tampa, Florida. I teach seventh grade biology, and I have had the pleasure of working with the Anjari Foundation now for several years. Um, I've worked with Amanda Waite to develop lessons that utilize uh, 3D printed corals and VR to help my kids learn about the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary before we go on our annual field trip. They've also been a tremendous help since we went virtual with COVID, helping arrange uh, scientist speakers for my students, um, which has kept our science curriculum really exciting and uh, interesting for the kids during an unprecedented time. So thank you, Anjari, for your support. It is very, very appreciated, and I look forward to working with you in the future. My name is Nate Formell. I'm a coral researcher at NOAA AOML in Miami. Uh, one of the days on board with Anjari during a trip to Dry Tortugas National Park, we had a massive Goliath grouper start hanging out under the boat. Apparently, they'd taken a liking to the hull, and so we had plenty of time to check it out and swim with it. I got some really nice fish selfies that day. Hi, it's Dr. Neil Hammerschlag here. I wanted to just shout out and say uh, thanks to Anjari for supporting our work. Um, I think one of my favorite memories is going out uh, on the boat when it was pretty new and uh, off of, um, you know, just off of Palm Beach and having just a stellar day 
I remember we were we were uh, surveying uh, sharks, and we I think we had something like six hammerheads, which was unheard of. I mean, it was it was just an unbelievable day. My name is Ian Enox. I am the lead of the coral program at AOML in Miami. I've had the uh, pleasure of being able to conduct research on board um, the RV Anjari. I um, think that like anything, um, the most difficult thing in life is balance. And the RV Anjari uh, strikes a balance between being comfortable and having state-of-the-art facilities, as well as um, being able to conduct really, really quality uh, research in conjunction with an extremely well-trained and, and supportive crew. I've been lucky enough to go on several expeditions on the Anjari to various parts of the Bahamas, working with turtles and sharks on film shoots and on research expeditions, and it's always a lot of fun. And Kevin and Angela really always put in so much effort into making sure we eat really well and that our research goes smoothly. Uh, they're always ready to get involved in field work as well. And some of the best, best memories are really just the remote parts of the Bahamas, not knowing what we're going to find, uh, long dinghy rides, and like I said, always great food when we come back at the end of the day. And I can't wait for the next trip. Hi, my name is Stephanie Killingsworth. I'm a former teacher at Coniston Middle School in West Palm Beach, Florida. And I would have to say that my favorite experience with Andrei Foundation was a collaboration and co-write of oral lessons between myself, Anjari, and the University of Miami's uh, staff to talk about coral conservation with my classroom. Working with Anjari Foundation on our uh, expedition in the Bahamas in 2019 was a wonderful experience. The, the ship and the crew uh, performed flawlessly and really enabled us to operate our deep diving submersible in a safe and efficient manner. Hi Angela, hi Kevin. Uh, it's kind of hard to pick one favorite memory from being on the Anjari because there have been lots from us playing uh, Jenga and you saying who plays Jenga on a boat, <laughs> but we were doing it anyway, uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, just to you both being really accommodating and making sure we're able to get the work done, whether it's tinkering and fixing compressors or keeping us super happy with my favorite meal of any day, which is dessert. So thank you lots for that. And I can't wait to see you all again. It's been a very memorable two years. We've talked about where we've been. Now here's where we're going. Four years ago, we celebrated the launch of Anjari Foundation and the christening of our research vessel Anjari. Since then, we've been working hard for our oceans with 36 research expeditions, 63 presentations and classroom visits, 28 community events and conferences, and four educator professional development programs. Over 210 days at sea and 10,000 nautical miles, we've served 191 scientists, 28 educators, 219 students, 69 citizen scientists, 27 filmmakers, and 12 reporters and journalists. We're proud of what we've accomplished so far, but there's still a lot of work to do. We will continue to support scientists with high-level, low-cost opportunities to conduct meaningful field work. These efforts bring hundreds of years of scientific expertise together to help us better understand and protect our marine environment. We will reach more people than ever before through our online distance learning programs. Working with scientists, partners, schools, and communities from around the globe, we will continue to make significant fact-based science available to anyone. We have already begun to enhance and expand current educational resources and develop new lessons to accompany our films and webinars. This includes being creative and innovative with the ways we can promote STEM education and career paths. While we haven't been able to accept in-person interns in the last year, our internship program has continued remotely. We remain committed to providing on-the-job experience, skills development, and mentorship to current college students. As soon as it is safe to do so, we will be resuming hands-on education programs to provide youth with the opportunity to work with scientists firsthand and inspire the next generation. We can also increase our impact by teaching the teacher through professional development opportunities that equip educators to share authentic science and research projects with their students. We are further building community partnerships to expand citizen science programs and broaden our reach. 
We are growing our YouTube channel and making plans to bring even more research stories, field work experiences, and marine science to you. Scientists, teachers, students, and the community working together. Are you ready? We are. Thank you to everyone who has already donated tonight. Please keep it going and support Andrew's mission for marine science research and education. Don't forget to submit your votes for one lucky scientist to get a free day on RV Anjari. Voting ends Friday at midnight. And also don't forget to check out our silent auction that ends later tonight. For those educators who are with us, you can join us by signing up for the Educators Portal through our website. We hope you've enjoyed this evening. We certainly did. We'd like to again thank our event sponsors. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Onward to another successful year. Good night, everyone. Good night. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.